Thanks, Max, for doing this. When you got to Montreal your first season, you came out of the gate flying, uh, point of game guy the first couple of months. Why has this, why is it, do you think it's been much, uh, so much difficult here as compared to that? What's the transition been like for you here? Yeah, obviously it's a unique situation, right? With everything going on. Um, I mean, you can make all excuses that you want in the world, but uh, I'm not really one to do that. So just got to find a way to start producing. It's, it's as simple as that. I mean, obviously it's a much different system here. Um, different teammates, different coach, different different city, different whatever. I mean, it's all different. So you got to find a way. There's no reason you can't do the same sort of thing. So, um, yeah, it's uh, I just got to take it upon myself to, to be better, and uh, I will. How different is, is the system? Has it been hard for you to – to grasp, you guys usually say that each system from team to team is just a little bit different. Is this one radically different than you're used to? No, I mean, you're a hockey player, you're a pro hockey player. I think by this time you've seen most most stuff, so you should be able to adapt pretty quick. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, it's just a matter of, uh, I mean, obviously you played some, some left wing, some right wing, some center, so just getting um, – better understanding of, of how to produce while playing within the system that uh, Torts wants us to do. And um, I think it's, it's up to the individual to figure out how to do that. Um, and you got to get extra reps in practice. You got to do the, do the simple things. And at the end of the day, I mean, you still got to skate, still got to make plays and good defense leads to good offense. So um, I know that's kind of a cliche answer, not really what you want to hear, but that's, uh, that's the reality of it. So um, just got to stay with it and uh, be a little bit better. Yeah. We, now that you're starting to understand the system, do you feel like this is a system you can thrive in? Is this a system where Max Domi's game works? Um, yeah. I mean, obviously I'd, I'd like it to, right? So uh, I got to yeah. find a way to adjust and, and be better. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next we'll go to Dave Metzl. Go ahead, Dave. Thanks, Max. Uh, Torts used the, uh, the phrase concentration. This team needs to have improved concentration to play better. What's what's the fine line between concentration and overthinking as you're out there in such a fast game? Yeah, you know it's uh, it's a great question, obviously, and um, I think that's I was asked <laughs> earlier by uh, Porty there about um, what do you have to do to get back on on pace to produce at a point per game, and I think <clears throat> that'd be probably the main thing is not to overthink. Um, that being said, is uh, when you are conscious of making mistakes and whatever then all of a sudden you start overthinking. So it's a matter of just, I mean, trusting your abilities and playing with confidence and, and not worrying about making mistakes and instead of just playing and letting the rest take care of itself. So it, it is certainly a fine line. And uh, as part of being a pro is you got to find a way to, to make that work. So um, that's the goal here for me. And that's, that's team-wide too, right? If you got a team or a power play unit or whatever it is that's overthinking it, you're not going to just play and relax and rely on your talents, right? You know, actually, our power play, I mean, I get it. It's obviously we haven't been scoring five goals a game by any means. But um, when, we're, when we're in zone, we're set up. We're making a lot of good plays, creating a lot of good chances and, and a lot of good looks um, for sure. I, I don't think and that's a secret. It's not hard to see. When we're, when we're set up, we're making a lot of good plays out there. Uh, it's just a matter of getting in the zone. And usually that's actually the easiest part. So um, I think we can clean that up and we'll be fine. We had a great practice today and um, made some adjustments and some changes in, in the – in the units, and uh, I think uh, we were pretty successful today. So I uh, just got to carry that over into a game now. When you come off a game like the other night, how eager are players to get back on the ice and not right or wrong, but but play play a better game, play a stronger game? Yeah, certainly you you want to you want to bounce back from a tough loss like that. Obviously, um, that's a great team in Carolina. You can't take anything away from them, uh, and, they, and they played to their strengths and um, they capitalized on their chances. Um, that's pretty evident. You, you can't uh, you can't make mistakes against a team like that because when you do, it's right in the back of your net. And that was kind of the story of our last game. <clears throat> so um, I think all in all, it's uh, it's definitely something that we need as a group. But at the same time, we're not we're not hitting the panic button by any means. We're we're in a good spot still, and uh, we got an opportunity to, to bounce back against another good team in Nashville. And we're looking forward to it. We definitely own them. So uh, we'll be we'll be ready for tomorrow. Thanks, Max. Yeah. And then we'll go to Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, Max, uh, just getting back really quick to, you know, making that transition, uh, you know, as far as uh, adjustments and systems and that kind of thing. Would you say the biggest adjustments are in the defensive and, and you know, transition games, or is it all three zones? Um, I'd say it's it's probably obviously all three zones, right? I mean, when you're when you're in all zone, you're, you're worried about getting back. When you're in the D zone, you're 
obviously uh, trying to be in a good spot to defend. So, I mean, overall, it's uh, small adjustments, but definitely any adjustment is something you got to be aware of. And um, like you said, it's a fine line of overthinking and, and just executing. So, got to find a way to um, make them both work. Is it? Is there also, or is there still, I should say, a uh, an emphasis going on about in the offensive zone about staying above the puck and you know trying to prevent those those odd man rushes? And is that any different than what you've played for, with in the past? Yeah, uh, I think obviously if you watch our game, we're we're very cautious of that. Um, but at the same time, um, I mean, you want to create offense, and you're not going to create offense if you're already worrying about defending while you have the puck. So, again, fine line, but. Um, I think right now we're, as a group, we're really focusing on the defensive side of things. And um, not that that's wrong. It's just um, sometimes it's, if you're a little bit too cautious, then you're going to pull away from your offensive game as well. So it's just a matter of uh, being in a good spot and responsible and able to, I mean, close on a guy coming back. So you're not giving up odd man rushes, but you're also not leaving the play to the point where it's two on three down low. And um, again, fine line, but we're getting there.